नमस्ते सो so, दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो इज नॉट अबाउट द बुक आई थोट ऑफ मेकिंग ए वीडियो अबाउट ड्रीम्स ड्रीम्स इज द स्टेट which enables us to experience the things which otherwise is not possible and the <coughs> interesting fact about the dreams is that the pleasure cortex of our brain that located exactly in the middle of the brain is what experiencing the simulations that is been caused by the brain what does it mean it is actually taking us to an interesting direction that the pleasure to experience we really don't need to be in a this state of body consciousness in order to understand this fact i can say it in other way around when we are <coughs> <coughs> doing something or when we are going for something the end result which we expect is the upliftment of the present state to the next one that could experience the pleasure in much more way that the other way the body is not possible to do when the brain creates the thought and the mind the entire purpose is to take us to experience much more pleasure in the way that other ways not possible why i am saying this <clears throat> when we analyze the dream we could see that in our body the pleasure cortex is being getting stimulated meaning the starving of the brain 
of the mind can be satisfied by simulating the pleasure cortex of the brain. Interestingly, it is possible through dreams. To explain this fact in much more ordinary sense, we have to look into the Gita, which is been written by Ashtavakra, not the Bhagavad Gita that is in the middle of the Makabharat. I am talking about the Gita which is being written by Ashtavakra, Maharshi Ashtavakra. The word meaning of the Gita is Gana, means song. So, it's a song from the Ashtavakra Maharshi. And when we discuss the content of this particular book, it goes in this particular manner. There was a king called Janaka and he went into dream and the experiential outcome from this particular dream was in such a state that he went into a stage where he was not able to distinguish between what is real and unreal. He got confused because the experience he got out from the dream was as real as the experience he is getting out from the real life. So, he called all the, all the pandits, all, all the wise men in that country in order to tell him what is real. And the debate has to be in such a way that it has to explain with the reasoning. There is a Shastra exist to explain this in uh, with reasoning. This is called Tarka Shastra. Anyway, the Muni Ashtavakra came and he debated with the king and explained both the states are untrue or both the states are true. Meaning, both the states are untrue as same as both the states are true. Here the secret lies between the words. It lies between the opposites. So, imagine we are experiencing this particular world with our five senses and there is something which is getting experienced with the world. The thing that is which 
is looking for experiencing with the world so there is a thing which is living inside so if we close our eyes and go deep inside what we see it has no end it goes one thought another thought and other thing another thing and it it is very vast and even if we open our eyes and try to experience what is there it is also goes so unending like one galaxy another planet another planet and it forms another galaxy and galaxies of galaxies and galaxies of galaxies of galaxies it goes in that way in outward direction also and inward direction also it goes in the similar way so the secret living in between which means that that also untrue and this also untrue as same as that is true and this is true now the maharaja understood the concept which or the philosophical or metaphysical explanation which the ashtavakra has given to the king this is about the dreams <coughs> now why i am talking about this imagine that if you can experience all these pleasures in your mind itself i'm sure that uh, most of you are familiar with the movie inception so there are experiments which is happening in that particular film like they are putting dream they are trying to plant dream inside a dream inside a dream and uh, there is a concept of shared dream and there is a concept of lucid dreams and there are many other concepts which are related to dreams there are yogic ways which enables these concepts in much more realistic way this is what i am this is the reason why i am creating this particular video and we will look into those yogic way that enables us to go into multi dimensional dreaming states when i have already told when we are dreaming the pleasure cortex is experiencing all the pleasures so if you are dreaming in the dreams you can live a thousand years you can have multiple families you can have multiple wife you can have multiple partners you can have all the pleasures which which is hidden inside your brain the other ways the society may say no to this particular pleasure or you may be scared to express these ideologies in the in the 
social circumstances because of the social conditioning of the society. Now I am explaining like right now we have technologies that are enabling us to do like living in metaverse IMVU uh, where we can actually have our avatars to do what we are otherwise can be do. But this practice is much more deeper that it can give the exact experience which we are experiencing in the real life. All we have to do is to give a little bit little bit push or a little bit uh, little bit work around to our mind so that it can experience the lucid dreams the shared dreams like in the inception we can see there are multiple people are laying down on the bed and they are all sharing a common dream this is also possible And this is, these techniques are interestingly from Buddhist philosophies. There is a yoga, there is a tantric yoga vidya which is in the Buddhist philosophy that enables us to do the dream dream yoga this is called dream yoga so how do we go into this particular state it's a step by step process that has to be done under a master who is good enough to work with the tantric energies otherwise we may lose the connection between the reality and unreal the first steps the step there are multiple steps but to get into this kind of yogic state where i mean you are conscious when you are dreaming to get into that kind of state the steps which you have to perform start from writing down a dream journal what is a dream journal dream journal is the journal which in which you will write down your dreams is not something like you know i want to be become that i want to be become this this is not the dream journal what is a dream journal the dreams which comes to your mind that that happens in your mind while you are asleep and the moment you awoke you may forget most of the parts of the dream some dreams that has to be come into into the reality may come to your memory so these dreams you can write down day by day slowly you will get more remembrance and more stories and more understanding and more realities from the dream Carl J. Jung is explaining this in the modern psychology that the dreams could be a seed that can be be become real 
in this real world maybe it can come through you you have to be very much understand this words the dreams doesn't mean that i want to be become that i want to be become this these all are ideas which is implanted on your mind by the society because they want you to be become in a some certain way the moment you get birth they call you a name because then only then only they can control you then only the society and the social life can control you so the moment you get birth they will give you a name so these things you have to understand when i'm talking about the dream the dreams that are not induced dreams that are not created dreams those are not about your future dreams that appears in your mind as it appears when you are dreaming there is no state of mind as well i for the purpose of understanding i use the word called mind but as it appears in you as it the dreams as it appears in you you have to write it down some of the dreams you can write down because most of the dreams you forget but day by day as your dream journal grows the dreams will be become more and more real and it will give you more and more insight and it will give you more and more life to live this life without condition so it's very important to understand the dreams and slowly we will get into the different states of mind we can see according to upanishad there are four states of mind the last one is sushupti no last one is the fourth one is toriyam the fourth state which is neither this nor that so the dream journal will help you to reach there on the fourth the toriyam that is the state where you experience the consciousness on you and that is the state where you become as real as real and these steps it is a tantric process is from buddhism it is called dream yoga and only how to be practiced under a qualified master because it helps you to unveil different layers of consciousness and different layers of ecstasy different layers of bliss and different layers of understanding then only you can live the life otherwise you will never be in living the life you will be surviving the the life living the life is extremely different from surviving the life so the dream yoga can help you to be more awake thank you for watching